Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product from ProtoArc. This is the ProtoArc EM1 ergonomic trackball. You can check it out on their website, and I'll have that link in the description below where you guys can check it out. Now this retails for about $59. Uh, it is obviously a trackball, so it's going to be more boosted towards productivity than gaming uh, but if you're looking for a, a really nice wireless trackball then you might want to check out the EM1 from ProtoArc. We're going to get into it now and I'll be right back. Okay, so once you get everything unboxed, this is what you're going to get. Obviously, you're going to get the main unit itself. Uh, this is a uh, really nice uh, trackball, nice and wide for your hand. You're going to get a 2.4 gigahertz USB dongle here, and this will be for connection number one. Uh, it does allow up to three different connections. You can do uh, 2.4 gigahertz. You can also do two Bluetooth connections with this as well. Now here's a charging cable. It's going to be your standard USB to USB type C. Uh, this is for recharging the 900 milliamp battery that's inside this and it will last for up to 90 days on a single charge. You also get a user manual here for the EM1. Again, uh, kind of showing you that you get 2.4 gigahertz on uh, position one and uh, two other Bluetooth positions in two and three. So you can have up to three devices connected to this and switch between them. Uh, it is written in English. It is well laid out. It shows you all the button assignments and everything else, how to get paired up in a uh, Bluetooth mode and also uh, how to hook up the USB dongle. Hold on to this just in case you need to refer to it. Uh, but it's a uh, pretty straightforward. So let's take a look at this very nice trackball here, a very wide mouse uh, for your hand. Uh, on the bottom, you've got this nice grip here, and it's also adjustable, the angle of the trackball itself. You do have a dedicated on and off switch here, and you do have some LEDs around the trackball that you can change with this button that's right by your thumb. You'll see the little light indicator there. Now, the button to the right is your DPI button. You can switch the DPI here uh, all the way up to 2400 for the DPI, and you can switch that between three different uh, DPI modes there as well. So you do have 1,600 and 2,400. Uh, the front button uh, changes your LEDs, and I'll show you that in just a few moments. You do have three different modes here uh, with the mode button that is in uh, right below the uh, mouse wheel itself in the middle uh, and you can see that we're flashing on one and ready to uh, do that 2.4 gigahertz connection uh, with the dongle two and three are bluetooth uh, and i'll show you how to set those up in just a second very nice uh mouse wheel here uh good scrolling on that and again you can change uh, your modes here uh, between one two and three and we'll show you how to connect through that you do have your forward and back buttons your right and left mouse buttons a total of 10 buttons in all uh, and overall just a very a nice a comfortable design which is what you're looking for in a trackball uh, type of mouse anyway because you're going to be using this mostly for uh, productivity now you can see that we've got uh, a 20 percent uh, incline here and that can be a push down as well so that it is totally flat uh, so you can have this in two different orientations depending on how you want to use this uh, how what feels best for your hand when it's totally flat your hand is going to be more to the right hand side uh, so that kind of uh, moves your thumb more up towards the top uh, if you like it more in a natural position, uh, you can flip that to that 20 degree angle and then you will have more of a natural feel there uh, of your hand being flat on the desk uh, surface. So overall, I like the fact that you've got two different uh, settings here uh, to whatever is going to be more comfortable for your hand. Okay, so let's talk about LED modes. And as you can see, every time I touch the mouse, the LED comes on and you can use the front button there with the little light to switch through several different modes. You do have kind of a static 
mode, your breathing mode, and what they call a neon mode, and then your streamer mode, which is kind of uh, just kind of circling around the trackball. And this will go out to save battery life if you don't touch the mouse for a, a few moments. Uh, so it's a nice little accent to have on there. Not really necessary. If you do hold the light button in for about three to five seconds, it will totally turn the LED off if you don't want it at all. Now let's talk about modes. Uh, mode 1 is going to be for that 2.4 gigahertz, uh, and switching through is relatively easy with the center button here. Uh, so mode 1, when it's blinking, is ready to be connected to your 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, you can put that in your laptop or your PC or your Mac. Uh, and then you have two other modes as well. Uh, mode 2 and mode 3 are both Bluetooth, so this will allow you to connect up to three different devices one with the 2.4 gigahertz, uh, and then two with Bluetooth. Now, if you hold down the mode button while it's in the two or three position, uh, you can see that it'll be blinking fast, and that is in pairing mode, and then you'll just go to your Bluetooth settings and set it up. So you can have up to three devices connected and switch seamlessly between them on the Proto Arc. So that is very handy uh, if you want to go through multiple PCs or a tablet and a PC, uh, etc. So a very easy to switch between and pair up with the Proto Arc EM01. Okay, so there you have it. That's my review of the ProtoArc EM1 uh, RGB trackball. Again, if you're looking for something that's uh, geared towards productivity and comfortability with ergonomics, then this is something that you may want to check out. Uh, I'll have that link in the description below where you can check it out again. Overall, I really like how comfortable this mouse is, the adjustable angle, the fact that it has a uh, rechargeable battery built in as well that'll last you up to 90 days per charge. It takes about an hour and a half to two and a half hours to fully charge that 900 milliamp battery. But once you are charged and ready to go, you really will get some serious battery time out of this, which again is a plus. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. If you have any questions or comments about this mouse, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Remember to like, and if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do so because that always helps me out. And I'll check you guys out on the next video.